Today, I wanna to show you how I mounted this Unify access point in my office. I hope you enjoyed the video and find it worthwhile. Without further ado, let's jump in. Hi, welcome back to 40 Something Tech Tips. If you're new here, my name's Alex, and on this channel, I want to share with you my love of everything tech. So as I said in the intro, I wanted to share with you how I mounted my Unify access point in this office. I didn't want to go through the whole rigmarole of installing the access point in the ceiling like you traditionally would do. So I was mulling around with some ideas and I came across these on Amazon. Now they are shelf brackets, kind of like industrial tubing that you'll find um, in a lot of coffee shops now, um, quite trendy but they lend themselves really, really well to this. They're, you can run cables through them and they fit really, really well with the mounting section that you get, particularly on Unify access points. Now I can't talk for other access points. I can only talk for the Unify access point I've got, which I believe is the APAC Lite. Um, obviously, if you're using a bigger access point, you might have to find something with a longer shaft because obviously with the end diameter, it's gonna look quite large. Um, this will become a bit clearer when I do a different view from the camera and start putting it all together. So I won't ramble on anymore and I'll show you how we get on. So this is your mounting kit that comes with the Ubiquiti access point. Um, normally this bit would clip into there once you offer it up to the ceiling. So do apologize for my bad camera work. That would then lock in like that. So if I can just unclip that, there we can see that comes off. And then this part would normally sit on the other side of a suspended ceiling. So your bolts would come through in the married up holes, you can see there. This bit would be on the suspended ceiling side. And then once it's fitted, you would just offer it up like that. The only, what I'm going to do here is, I've made some of my own holes to allow for this washer here to uh, marry up with my bolts. So it is literally, if I can remember how I done it and get it right this time. There we are. Now let's see if I can pick it up in one go. All right, going all over the place. So like I said, I have made my own holes to make this possible. Um, just to allow for the cable to pass through there. So, and I've also cut down these bolts. Um, luckily, I didn't damage the thread. So good old Dremel. These bolts are something like 80 mil long, so they're quite long. So you would see them once the access point is fitted on the wall. That will become apparent when I fit it up there. There we go, and that's the second bolt. So that's our uh, plate fitted all together. And I'll show you how. So sit in there, like that. That's locked in place now. Now this is gonna be the fun part. Let's see if I've got this right. Well, to be fair, I have tested this before I started filming, otherwise this could have gone horribly wrong. So, if you picture, this is your brackets can be on the wall, which I must say I've already fitted that. So that is up on the wall. I've already run the cable as well, which I will show you. So I'm gonna show you how to terminate the cable as well. That's gonna go through like that. You've then got your right angle there we go so it's going to look something like this yeah and then your final bit of down pipe again I might actually leave that loose because it'll be easier to get that on right so if you, again, forgive me for the shoddy camera work, but if we slide the cable through, 
and as you can see, cables come through nicely. And you can see your RJ45 socket in there. So obviously this would be terminated. Let's tighten up our pipe work just to give you guys an idea of what this will look like once it's up on the wall. So that is your finished product. Like I said, obviously that would need to be terminated at both ends. And yeah, that's it really. So if you'll bear with me, I'll set up the camera again and I'll just show you fitting it up on the wall and um, I will attempt to terminate on camera. We'll see how well that goes. So as you can see, brackets all nicely fitted and we are now going to terminate the cable. Try and do this first time on camera. Let's see how well it goes. Take off about 30 mil of the Cat6 sheath. And it's just a case of trying to get them all nice and straight, ready to go into the Easy RJ45 connector. Highly recommend the Easy RJ45s. They are really, really good. Allow you to see your cable configuration before you terminate, so you make you know you've got it all right. So what I find with Cat6 cabling or Cat5 is if you just give it a little bit of moving around, almost like warming up the cable, you'll find it's a lot more malleable and it goes in the way you want it a lot easier. So once you've got them all good, like that, trim them off because you're not going to get all that through there's a load of cables all over the place there. You're not going to get that lot through the very, very small RJ45 socket. Like I said, these have a pass-through system. I know you're not going to be able to see it on camera, but they've got holes right at the end, so it allows the cables to go right the way through. And it allows you to inspect them before you crimp. Now, again, I do apologise. I know it's not ideal. I'm trying to get this camera as close to the wall as I can, but that looks good. So we've got white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. That looks about ready to terminate. So we want to crimp now. There we go. Now, fingers crossed, I got it right first time. There we go. So as I said, that's been crimped. We now need to crimp the other side. So if you give me a few seconds, I'll set up the camera and we'll crimp it and we'll do some testing. So this is where all the network cables that run around the house come in and enter my network cabinet. It's not very pretty, as you can see, it's quite a lot of mess here. Um, this is our newest cable that we need to terminate, so I'm going to terminate this one here. I am going to do another video soon, and I'm going to basically terminate all this into a faceplate. But for now, let's terminate this one. So, for this here, so let's take off about, I don't know, 40, 50 mil. Let's hope this one comes off a little easier than it did last time. Look at that, first time. So again, just gonna splay out our cables. Again, I do apologize. I know this might not be the best angle, but let's see how we can get on. Let's take off our guiding string. And we are gonna be using these um, they're really, really cool. You can just have them as they are behind the wall or you can put them into um, sort of like um, shutters like that, which will then clip into most universal face plates. It was kind of what I was doing before, but I'm going to try and tidy it up a little bit. You see that bit there will go onto our cable. These are nice and simple, much easier than um, terminating an RJ45, but these are only good. These are basically, we'll give you a female connection. 
they're quite self-explanatory again I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that but they are color coded so nice and simple over in the UK we're using uh, B configuration I believe places like states use A I'm not 100% sure on that maybe you guys can comment down below and let me know so I'm just going to trim these cables off now And there's a little arrow on this side here and that goes in line with the little arrow there so really simple you can't go wrong so got it in place there squeeze it shut so yeah once you've got it in place just squeeze it shut and what will happen is as the cables lock into place, there's a slight bit of metal that will bite into the copper cabling and that will terminate it for you. So let's test this now. So we're gonna use our Atlas peak tester. Uh, we'll connect this end to our female down here and we've got an Atlas terminal on the other end of the RJ45 socket and we'll run our test. Excellent. Nice one, it works first time. <laughs> so that is a good wire as you can see. So that is all good to go. I can put the face plates back on. Tidy up my room, it's a bit of a mess. Um, and I'll show you the final product. So that's the face plates all back on. The cable's all been terminated and all patched in. I just need to put the network cabinet back in place um, and I will show you the access point live. So thank you for sticking with us, I really appreciate it. Everything's back in place now, all nice and tidy. Um, it took ages. <laughs> so if I just take you on a little tour, again, apologize for the wobbly cam. But if I can just focus up there, as you can see, our access point is up there and it is live and provisioned. Really happy with how it's turned out. It looks really cool. Um, like I said, this is only an alternative to thing it into the ceiling like you normally would so if i bring you over to our monitor and i try and zoom in really poorly but you can see at the second one down there is our uac light and it is provisioned so that is now picking up clients and transfer transferring and receiving data so yeah really happy with that like I said, if you get if you need an alternative to using the ceiling um, to mount an AP, give that a go. See what you think. I like it as well. It looks really cool. So I like the um, industrial tubing. It's quite cool. So it goes nicely with like if I just zoom back out, it's quite cool with the um, reclaimed wood that I've got there. And also if I just step back a bit here as well, it goes quite nicely with the desk. So yeah, really cool. All I need to do now is just to redecorate and uh, cover up all my uh, holes that I made to run the cabling, which is always fun. But thank you, really appreciate it. Thanks very much everyone for sticking with us through the video. Um, if you've lasted this long, I really appreciate it. This is my first ever video. Um, I hope it will be the first of many. I really hope that the content will get better and the videography will get better. Um, if there's any advice you can offer, please um, feel free to comment down below. Like and subscribe so we can grow this channel and we can share this content with each other. I really, really would appreciate it. Um, I'm on all the usual social media platforms, uh, 47 Tech Tips, check me out and um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.